Alright people, it's Sprite here, and I've got another comment for you guys today. Uh, it's a recent gameplay from not long ago. Uh, I'm not sure when this video got, but uh, when I'm recording this, it's not from long ago. The gameplay is L96, uh, variable scope, and I don't really use variable scope, I haven't used it in ages. So the gameplay is, I am using Ghost, <laughs> because it's a, you know it's an old class. But um, I did used to use Ghost a lot because I, I like the advantage that you got when you know because sniping is difficult compared to the other cards. I thought there's going to be a way you can kind of counteract that, and that's my reason for using Ghost. Uh, just to hate people who machine gun Ghost because that makes no sense. It's not really fair. But um, yeah, that's a whole other topic that I don't want to go into. But yeah, the gameplay is just so I can talk about the question and answer video part three. Well, basically, um, I didn't get to finish all the questions in the second one, uh, which kind of sucks because I wanted to get this over and done with, but just wanted to thank you guys for 50k, this is kind of why I did it, so I wanted to get all your questions done. So this one's going to be a little bit about COD and then a lot about personal, um, you know, personal questions because that's what I've got quite a few questions on. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay, uh, there might be a few people spinning around and a lot of people sniping because it kind of got recognised in, uh, in this game, but that's that's their fault. Uh, the gameplay picks up a bit when it's uh, 6v6. So first question, do you think feeds are only good if all the kills are in the kill feed or do you think they're good uh, if it's just one kill after the other? Well, as you may know, if you watch my scraps episodes, I throw away a lot of split feeds. And people think it's a lot of controversy going on at the moment where people think that it doesn't matter what the feed is, uh, you know, if you get all the kills, why does it matter what the feed looks like? Well, basically, the feed is more like a standard, and you know, it's been, you know, the way it's kind of evolved in the community, kind of thing, is that the more cleaner the feed is, the more the clip looks nicer, uh, you stand out more because your name's more noticeable. Uh, even if you're hitting the four shots, say it's a quad feed, and you get the four, all the four shots done, and you kill them all, but it gets split a lot. I mean, no offense to people who keep it, but this is, you know, it's opinion. This is my opinion. That's why people have asked this question. Uh, I wouldn't enjoy watching just four quick scopes if it wasn't a multi kill and if it wasn't a feed. Uh, basically, the feed just represents the, you know, the angle of look that goes into montages, and uh, I think if people don't want to, if your people are like, well, I don't care what the feeds like. If you don't care what the feeds like, you should go for multi kills because multi kills are more impressive than a regular quad feed. If you can get a four man or five man multi kill, even if it's split to high heaven, that's really impressive. And not many snipers can get those kind of things on a regular basis. So the feeds kind of like a way that you can get consistent good gameplay out, uh, make yourself stand out from other YouTubers who are just getting. You know, regular four pieces or split quad feeds. It's kind of a way that you can, ex you know, impress yourself and impress other gamers, and you know, improve on your montage standards. Uh, this is just my opinion, by the way. Um, like I said, it's just what people have asked me, and they want my view on it. But other side, other you know, YouTubers may think differently, and they don't care about split feeds. But this is just my opinion, so uh, that's kind of the reason that I throw away split feeds because I enjoy a clean, clean, nice feed. I think it looks really nice. And just think if you had a trailer and you had four pieces in a trailer, it doesn't really work. But you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? Well, I don't really have a, a favorite. Um, it's kind of a tough one because I do watch. Well, I don't watch as many as I used to, but I still watch quite a few. Um, basically, I enjoy people who put up Black Ops gameplays, um, Black Ops, you know, montages because you don't see it that often. Uh, it's becoming more and more popular now because sniping's gradually, gradually got easier for a lot of people um, through, you know, through updates. But I enjoy people who do Black Ops content uh, or really good, like old gameplay. Like really good, you know, multis and feeds and whatnot from the old cards. But I prefer people who do black ops. Um, it doesn't really matter if he's a friend because as I'm playing within this gameplay, 
a guy called Meerkat. Um, basically, you might know him, you might not, but he kind of like uh, was one of the first to be getting like really great Black Ops montages out, and he was kind of like a uh, what you should call it, like an inspiration kind of thing. I was doing like prestige montages, but by the time I did a couple of my prestige, mon oh, I think it may be like maybe six or seven. He's released a montage with Quad Feet 96 in, which I was just like amazed at. And when we finally got a game together, uh, he's just become like a really, you know, great player, great editor. He's really one of my favorite, you know, YouTubers. He's really nice to talk to. Um, I know that's kind of like just because I'm friends with him that I'm being like biased, but it's my opinion. <laughs> but the guy is a really good player and a really great editor. I think he's one of the best rock editors out there at the moment. Um, but yeah, for gameplays and editing, definitely Meerkat is one one of the you know most enjoyable. And definitely Steve Schwinn, uh his gameplay commentaries are really enjoyable. Uh, I watch pretty much all of them now. I love the tips he gives, and I really think he's a great commentator. So I'm going to put those links in the description. Hope you guys check them out. They're really great players. And yeah, on to the personal questions. Run out of time already. I've gone into too depth on that. How often do you play and does it affect your social life? Um, well, now I've got really kind of consistent at getting clips. I really don't have to play as much as I used to. Basically, at college, you had a lot more free time to because of a lot of the work you did in class. Uh, whereas at university now, I have a lot of work to do out of class, so it kind of affects the way I can play a lot. Um, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, go out all the time, blah, blah, blah just to try and impress you guys. I mean, you go to a pub after university. I go to the pub a lot after class, you know, have a drink, play pool, chill out, and I probably come home, do course, uh, do the work, and then do a little, you know, gaming. Um, it does affect your life, because montage making is really, you have to put a lot of time in uh, if you want to get good montages. So it does kind of affect like, how, much you, how much you, you know, you play is based on how good you want to get uh, at the game and maybe some people are really lucky that they just come come on the game and get clips straight away and don't need to be playing it consistently for you know an hour or two when they can just come on for a few games get clips I mean it depends I mean I can do that sometimes but a lot of the time you just need to stick at it but it does kinda t it used to affect it a lot but now it's not such of a problem uh, because I can bring out content kinda quick uh, upload and every other day has kind of become something of a a regime like a schedule regime like, yeah kind of like a schedule kind of thing so I'm really kind of uptight with that kind of thing so um yeah I'd probably say it kind of affects it a bit but not when you kind of get older and you have a lot more to do outside of the you know YouTube kind of thing uh, fudge cake I've run out of time <laughs> you're gonna have to do another one um, if you well actually comment if you want to hear a lot of personal questions um, because you know a lot of you might want to hear them so comment if you want to hear that leave a comment and I will do the next one but for now hope you enjoyed it I'll see you guys later